That's an interesting start. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense for the uh, the story then, for the when I opened the book earlier on. I'm going to go around, find out about each and every one of them, hopefully. Um, I don't know if you, you... Maybe you don't have to, or... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but... I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Is this where I came? Oh, this isn't where I came from, is it? Or was the door? Oh, I can't remember now. This is where I came from, through the hatch. Okay. Are you underneath the bed? No? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. The bird? Outside? Oh, no, is it the cat? <laughs> oh, so we're gonna now, okay. Oh, because this will be the 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 parents' room, here, Sven and. My mom never told me any of these yeah. stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Hmm. Makes sense. After the kitten stories. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Shrine sketches. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. The mole man. Okay. I hadn't thought oh? of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. So you're not going to watch it? Do you want to know about your light trip? Okay. Molly's concepts. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. They're doing a very, very good job of building this hole. Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. <laughs> wow. Dragon kills him. Yeah, they're building the whole a whole world basically out here. So the room was like a museum. Okay, so is this. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that. I think. Check. Even in her nineties, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, I see the room now. I'm gonna. Okay, I'll do this. Oh no, this is gonna take me to the next bit, right? Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Oh, maybe I don't know then. Oh, what? Okay. Is there not uh, more slides to this? Do they not? Odin Finn oh, there you go. The latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house. Hoping to leave the curse behind. He set sail with his family and his house. Okay, okay, dude. But right. forty foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. <sighs> Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Orcas Island. I'm trying to remember these names. I'm trying to get all these names together and, uh, Odin you know, put the timeline together. In the new family cemetery. Okay, I'm guessing that later became the library. 
His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. This is this house, right? Nice. Well, not nice, but uh, Nor Norwegian. Then I guess they were. German was well off. Okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. It does a really good job of obviously showing it on that tree as well. The kind of path and timeline there. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully that will keep me remembering. Uh, What what kind of path we're on and, and, and what kind of time we're going? Built oh built nineteen thirty seven. Sven Finch. Okay. Um I wonder if I could have just kept going then without knowing that bit of the story. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Sam's first wife K. Sam's First wife, K. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just checking the trees just to find out where that actually fits in. There's a secret bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Okay. Oh, the secret in this bathroom. There's a secret in this bathroom. The secret bathroom. <laughs> it's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Ah. Well, I mean, you've told me it's in the book, so obviously... I mean... You know. <clears throat> but I guess you had to have the key, obviously. He'd refurbished. He never put it down. Sven gave sat okay. Looks like a dark room for the camera to actually do the old school um what do you call it? Uh developing, that's the word. Uh of the um of the shots. Then this okay, Milton's been here too. Milton? Is he still in here somewhere? Oh, it connects across. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, all the art style in this game is really nice too. I had a lot of artists in the family, but it looks to where do we go? Okay, there's only one bit to go. I was just looking at the different points we could have gone to to, uh, to explore them. It is interesting just looking at some of the areas too, though. There's a little command center up there. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh, that's okay. And that he never talked to. So they were in here until they were pretty old then, because... Uh, uh, oh, it's only 10 years. 18 then, yeah, 18. Okay. It's the high school. Okay. Oh, Bravo Company. Yeah, exactly. So it's all army-based and... Okay. Or military-based, should I say. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Hmm. Okay. Then we're gonna learn his story, I guess. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. You gonna swing on the swing a bit more? Got a bit of a broken ankle or something, uh, or, you know, sprained ankle or something. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. So I was thinking, he just means normal mushrooms, he just didn't like them, I'm guessing. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that took me a bit longer than it should have done. He swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. But that day, he finally made up his mind. To oh, so I am going to do it. Okay. I thought I was going to stop for dinner. Oh, no. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out that both the sticks were both the feet. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. They're somehow flying in the sky somewhere. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Actually, get a bit of a chill then. Okay. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. I think most kids try that, right? Not obviously, not to that extent, but um. <laughs> Swinging as as fast as you can to try and go uh, all the way around. Makes sense. We go up here. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. So we don't learn anything about, um... I suppose we did learn about both of them, kind of, but not so much. Let me just check. I'm going to make sure that we don't miss anything about Sam in here. Maybe maybe it's going to be later on. Just want to double check, though. I think... I don't think there's anything. It, it's generally kind of fairly obvious so far. I don't know. Maybe I've missed stuff, but I'm hoping I don't. The were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, so this is out to the... Yeah, this is where we were before. This is the main... Yeah. Okay. So we can go to Barbara's room, though, now. Cool. Milton's been here as well. Where has Milton not been? Jeez. Oh! It's just it? Yeah, oh, no, this is the room. Up, it's just the same poster. Barbara Finch in my friend Bigfoot. Seattle Ballet Company. Okay. Played guitar. Child Star. There could be no problems here, right? Child Star. Nothing, nothing could go wrong, right? Um. A lot of books. Quite a bit of reading, I guess. Greek tales. Um, Seattle Starlets. Favorite. Improv Night.
Uh, what? Is this not a bit moldy? What? What is that? Oh, I thought it had a bite in it. I thought it was like a big cookie or something. There's food and stuff all on the floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway. We're going to learn a bit more about Barbara. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jeff here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Mm. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. Has been. Imagine. In a Jeez. Break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. Okay. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan. Her current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. Because um. Barbara's father, Sven, he'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Oh. The convention comeback was cancelled. <laughs> Okay, until I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried a gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight? Police are urging residents to that came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding. And winding. Oh. So finally, the key pops out. Oh. I wonder if that was possible before then. If you already know, you could just do that. Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. Uh oh. She reached for the music box. The key. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Uh oh. Am I working? Yeah, I'm actually moving these bits, so. So well done. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Uh oh. Those cans. Detergent, get out of here. Okay. Where are you? The infamous hook man killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, this is where he cut his hand. Okay. Um. Okay. Until. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Barb, relax. Not quite what he wanted. To scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared. <laughs> oh dear. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still <laughs> when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hmm. Later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? 
there. Ah! Okay. I'm sorry. He back. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Okay. I think we're going again. We've got the crutch. Crutch weaponry. Crutch gonna come in clutch, maybe. Oh, I thought there was some Oh, this is yeah, okay. For some reason I don't know. I didn't realise where we were then, but I got it now. Get out of here. Walter Finch. Walter, are you there? Walter vanished. But his bedside radio was still on. Orcas Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh, here it goes. Saw the hook man and. Oh. He was quiet. Smashing. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. Okay, so it's going to be that hatch again. Because, um... Yeah, you can see the picture underneath. <laughs> kind of. Can we get out the window? She thought about the broken human Walter, but just couldn't do it. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Oh. Is he not gonna be out here though? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Crank. Oh. <laughs> An unfortunate series of events. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Where's um Walter? No. Nope. Yeah, where is her? We're gonna have to have another epic fight with him. Why is she <laughs> she's going so slow? Where's little Walter? That's why she's going slow. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Uh-oh. He's that way, right? So he's going to hit me in the back or something? Oh, I was, was it, oh, I was supposed to go to the door. Was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that bit I'm not sure about. What? Oh. She realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. Damn. So did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, Rick? Hiding under his bed. Was he the boyfriend? Time. Oh, little Walter. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked in 
inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her fear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Oh, why? Okay. Can you ah. me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered? As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I guess she got what she wanted. Everyone knows. Um. In in the in the comics, everyone knew who she was, and you know. But maybe we try this, uh, I guess we try this, we can't get out this way, right? This key through the, uh, through the music box. Yeah, there you go. Just in case you didn't read, read into it. <laughs> Game's gonna give you a hint. 